Chapter 1. Reframing the discussion from mental health to brain health changes helps people to see their problem as medical, not moral. We are on the cusp of a new revolution that will change mental health care forever. The end of mental illness discards an outdated, stigmatizing paradigm that taints people with disparaging labels, preventing them from getting the help they need, and replaces it with a modern, brain-based, whole-person program rooted in neuroscience and hope. No one is shamed for cancer, diabetes, or heart disease, even though they have significant lifestyle contributions. In times of profound change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. Eric Hoffer Over the last 30 years, Dr. Daniels and his colleagues have built the world's largest database of brain scans related to behavior. They performed more than 160,000 brain single-photon emission computed tomography scans, SPECT, which measures blood flow and activity patterns, and over 10,000 quantitative electrocephalograms, QEEGs, which measures electrical activity on patients from 9 months old to 105 years from 121 countries. It became crystal clear that psychiatrists are not dealing with mental health issues, but are dealing with brain health issues. And this one idea has changed everything to help patients. The definitions of mental illness and psychiatric disorders are terms you should do away with. They place emphasis on the wrong domain, the mind or the psyche. However, focus should first be on the brain. Being diagnosed with a mental illness or a psychiatric disorder insidiously taints or stains everyone who struggles with perceived issues of the mind, making them less likely to ever want to seek help for fear they'll be diminished in the eyes of others. Labeling brain issues as mental health or psychiatric instead of brain health makes people suffer in silence because of the shame they feel. Consider the rash of celebrity suicides and deaths by overdose of people who are too embarrassed or ashamed to ask for help. From Ernest Hemingway, Judy Garland, and Junior So, to Robin Williams, Mindy McCready, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Anthony Bourdain, and Kate Spade. On the outside, they seemed as if they had everything. On the inside, they were suffering. If we do not erase, or at least lower, the stigma for these brain health issues, many more people will unnecessarily suffer and die without getting the help they need. Early in Dr. Daniel's career, very few people wanted to see a psychiatrist. No one wants to be labeled as defective or abnormal. But once people learn about the importance of their brain, everyone wants a better one. Think of it this way. Your brain can have problems just as your heart can have problems. Most people who see cardiologists, however, have never had a heart attack. They are there because they have risk factors, a family history of heart disease, high blood pressure, or too much abdominal fat. And they want to prevent a heart attack. To end mental illness, we must develop a similar way of thinking. Did you know, in 2017, teens and young adults in the United States were more prone to depression, distress, and suicide compared with millennials when they were the same age. Chapter 2. Guiding Principles to Change Your Life To expect a personality to survive the disintegration of the brain is like expecting a cricket club to survive when all of its members are dead. Bertrand Russell The clinical and brain imaging work of Dr. Daniel and his colleagues has led to simple principles that underlie all we do. If you embrace them, they will set a foundation for brain health and start to change everything in your life. Here are some of them. Your brain is involved in everything you do. How you think, how you feel, how you act, and how well you get along with other people has to do with the moment-by-moment -moment functioning of your brain. Your brain is involved in every decision you make. When your brain works right, you work right. When your brain is troubled, you have trouble in your life. When your brain is healthy, you tend to be effective, thoughtful, creative, and energetic. When your brain is troubled, for whatever reason, you are much more likely to have problems in your life, including issues with depression, anxiety, impulsivity, anger, inflexibility, and memory. Your brain is the most complicated organ in the universe. With about 100 billion neurons, nerve cells, and about another 100 billion support cells, your brain has more connections than there are stars in the universe. Your brain accounts for only 2% of your body's weight, yet it uses 20 to 30% of the calories you consume, and 20% of the oxygen and blood flow in your body. Your brain has needs that must be met in order to work at optimal efficiency. The requirements for optimal brain function include healthy blood flow, proper hydration, physical and mental exercise, food, hormones. Like an orchestra, all parts of your brain need to be working well together to make you the best that you can be. Your brain is soft and it is housed in a very hard skull. Your brain is about the consistency of soft butter and it floats inside your head in a bath of cerebrospinal fluid. Inside your skull, there are sharp, bony ridges that can easily damage your brain. You must protect it. Understanding your brain helps you identify specific problems and which part of your brain may need help. Problems in certain brain systems tend to be associated with specific issues, such as PFC, language problems, short attention span, distractibility, a lack of planning and forethought, poor judgment, parietal lobes, poor direction sense and trouble with math, occipital lobes, visual processing issues. Did you know? The adult brain loses an average of about 85,000 neurons a day. In early childhood, the brain is very active, sprouting new neurons and developing new connections between synapses. Older adults have significantly less activity in the brain. Chapter 3. How to Create or Eliminate Mental Illness Using a Bright Mind's Approach To keep your brain and mind healthy, or to rescue it if it is headed for trouble, you have to prevent or treat the major bright mind's risk factors that steal your mind. B is for blood flow. 
The brain imaging research showed that the number one strategy to support your brain and mental health is to protect, nurture, and optimize your heart and blood vessels. Anything that damages your blood vessels damages your mind. Do you have any of the following risk factors for low blood flow to the brain? History of a stroke. History of cardiovascular disease. High, low-density lipoprotein, LDL cholesterol in the blood. Erectile dysfunction. R is for retirement and aging. Too often elderly, let's say those over 70, people are dismissed with brain health slash mental health issues, such as ADD or ADHD, depression, anxiety, or memory issues, because they are older. But research has found that no matter what your age, your brain can get better if you put it in a healing environment. Things that can contribute to brain health slash mental health issues in the aging brain. Pain and stiffness, especially if you played football in high school. It can make you feel cranky and depressed. Worrying about being either financially or physically dependent on others. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. George Bernard Shaw. Prescriptions for reducing your retirement slash aging risk factors. Avoid anything that accelerates aging, such as refusing to learn anything new, staying in a job that doesn't require ongoing learning, high iron levels, smoking, alcohol and marijuana abuse, the standard American diet, loneliness and a lack of purpose. Exercise your brain with new learning. Engage in lifelong learning to keep your brain strong. I is for inflammation. Inflammation is your body's natural way of coping with an injury or foreign invader, such as a splinter, virus, or bacterial infection. In some ways, however, the inflammatory response gets stuck on high mode and doesn't subside. Or it mistakes healthy tissue for a foreign invader and begins to attack it, like friendly fire. When inflammation becomes chronic, it is like having a constant low-level fire in your body that damages your organs and tissues. The word inflammation comes from the Latin inflammare, meaning to set on fire. Prescriptions for reducing your inflammation risk. Care about your level of inflammation and ask your doctor to test for it on a regular basis with CRP, homocysteine, and the omega-3 index. Avoid anything that increases inflammation, such as leaky gut, low omega-3 fatty acid levels, excessive omega-6 intake, and gum disease. Did you know, depression is a primary side effect of a drug that increases inflammation, and anti-inflammatory supplements such as curcumin and omega-3 fatty acids decrease depression. Chapter 4. Know your vulnerabilities, but your history is not your destiny. G is for genetics. If you have family members with brain health slash mental health challenges, such as anxiety disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, depression, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, addictions, attention deficit disorder slash attention deficit hyperactive disorder, ADHD or ADHD, Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's, you have a higher risk of having them too. Having a genetic risk is not a death sentence. It should be a wake-up call for you to know your vulnerabilities and get serious about taking care of your brain. Genetic risks for brain health issues. Family history of neurological illnesses. Family history of psychiatric illnesses, including addiction. Epigenetic factors. Prescriptions for reducing your genetic risk factors. Care about your genes and know your vulnerability. If you have genetic risk factors or a family history of brain health slash mental health issues, get an early screening for the genes implicated in brain health slash mental health issues. Avoid any risk factors that accelerate disease for your genetics. For instance, any child who wants to play a contact sport with a likelihood of concussions, football, soccer, hockey, horseback riding, etc., should be screened for the APOE E4 gene. Age is for head trauma. Whiplash, jarring motions, think shaken baby syndrome, blast injuries, and blows to the head can cause the brain to slosh around, slamming into the hard ridges inside the skull. Prescriptions for reducing your head trauma risk factors. Love your brain and find out if you have had a concussion or head injury. Avoid any future head injuries by protecting your head. This is worth repeating over and over. Protect your head. It contains your brain, which runs everything in your life. Actively engage in repairing any past head injuries. T is for toxins. Your brain is the most metabolically active organ in your body. As such, it is vulnerable to damage from toxins. Toxins are one of the major causes of brain health slash mental health issues that traditional psychiatrists almost completely ignore. Ways toxins poison your brain and contribute to mental illness. Reduced cerebral blood flow. Disrupt the endocrine system. Impair the immune system. Toxicity is the primary driver of disease. Dr. Joseph Pizzorno. Examples of toxins. Air pollution. Asbestos. Automobile exhaust. Carbon monoxide. Prescriptions for reducing your toxins' risk factors. Avoid toxins as much as possible. Quit smoking. Address drug and or alcohol abuse. Avoid aluminum and Teflon cookware. Go organic and always wash your produce. Always read food labels. If you do not know what an ingredient is, don't eat it or put it in your body. Did you know? Every single day, we are exposed to a host of chemicals, pesticides, fumes, and products that poison the human brain. Common toxins in the air we breathe, the foods we eat, and the products we rub on our skin are absorbed into our bodies via our lungs, digestive system, and pores and can eventually impact the brain. Chapter 5. Soothing the abnormal electrical activity that drives mood swings, anxiety, and aggression. M is for mind storms. Your brain is the world's most powerful hybrid electrochemical engine. It uses electricity and neurotransmitters to help you think, feel, and act. 
Electricity, the flow of charged ions, is constantly moving throughout your body, causing your heart to beat and your muscles to contract. Nowhere is electricity better documented than in the roughly 100 billion biological wires, neurons in your brain. The electrical activity taking place inside your skull happens on a millisecond by millisecond basis. Mind storm risk factors. Seizures or history of seizures. Periods of spaciness or confusion. Sudden repeated fear or anger. Mild paranoia. Prescriptions for reducing your mind storm's risk factors. Even though it may be difficult, try to avoid things like stress, tiredness, lack of sleep, forgetting medications, alcohol, and drug abuse. Spend time in prayer or meditation every day. I is for immunity and infections. Immunity is your body's natural protection system, and it carries out two primary functions, defense and tolerance. Your immune system defends against external invaders, think bacteria, viruses, and parasites, and it patrols your body for internal troublemakers such as cancer cells. Whenever the immune system deals successfully with an infection, it emerges from the experience stronger and better able to confront similar threats in the future. Immunity and infection risk factors. Low vitamin D level, asthma and hay fever, unidentified infections such as Lyme disease, toxoplasmosis, syphilis, H. pylori, HIV slash AIDS, herpes, pandas or pans, candida infections and others. Prescriptions for reducing your immunity and infections risk factors. Know your personal history and check the health of your immune system. A pattern of allergies, asthma, rashes, or repeated infections could mean your immune system is at risk. Boost your vitamin D level. Lower your stress. N is for neurohormone issues. Neurohormones have an important impact on the brain. When they are healthy, you tend to feel young and energetic. When they are out of balance, you feel older, experience symptoms similar to those associated with mental health issues, and become more vulnerable to brain health slash mental health conditions, like anxiety, depression, and even psychosis. Prescriptions for reducing your neurohormone risk factors. Limit anything that hurts your hormones, which lowers the age of age of menopause, chronic stress, processed food, too much sugar, unhealthy fats, wheat, and obesity. Steer clear of endocrine disruptors. Toxins and endocrine disruptors, such as personal care products and flame retardants, can wreak havoc on your hormones. Did you know, in a 2017 review of existing research on the link between stress and anxiety and depression, the authors concluded that stress could play a very detrimental role in our mental health. It should be curbed in the beginning in order to prevent its serious consequences. Chapter 6. Reverse the epidemic that's destroying brains, minds, and bodies. D is for diabetes. Diabetes is having high blood sugar and or being overweight or obese. In the United States, it has become an epidemic that continues to get worse, with half the population affected by pre-diabetes, 36% or diabetes, 14%, 70% considered overweight, and 40% falling into the obese category. The annual medical costs of obesity alone top more than $150 billion. As your weight goes up, the size and function of your brain go down. Cyrus Raji, MD, PhD, Assistant Professor of Radiology, Washington University. Diabetes Risk Factors High fasting blood sugar levels Prediabetes or type 1 or type 2 diabetes Being overweight or obese Family history of the disease, genetics Prescriptions for reducing your diabetes risk factors. S is for sleep. Limit or avoid foods that increase the risk of diabetes. These include high-calorie foods, high-glycemic, low-fiber foods, pasta, bread, white potatoes, rice, and sugar, which also promotes inflammation. Lose weight slowly. If you are overweight or obese, the healthiest way to drop weight and keep it off is to lose one or two pounds a week. Exercise. Research shows that working out improves blood sugar levels and weight. Strength training is a must. Drink more water. During sleep, your brain cleans or washes itself by eliminating cellular debris and toxins that build up during the day, basically taking out the neural tri trash, trash, consolidates learning and memory, and prepares for the following day. While you're sleeping, your brain is hard at work performing some very critical functions necessary to keep it operating at optimal levels. Sleep risk factors. Conditions like restless leg syndrome or sleep apnea, jet lag, many medications, poor sleep hygiene, or hormonal imbalances, especially hyperthyroidism and low progesterone in women, can get in the way of a good night's sleep. Worrying about work or finances, relationship problems, or the health of a loved one can keep you up at night. Prescriptions for reducing your sleep risk factors. Make it a priority and keep track of your sleep each night. There are many apps that can help. Avoid anything that hurts your sleep. Beware of health problems that steal your sleep. These include sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, and congestive heart failure. Did you know, an estimated 50 to 70 million Americans have some form of sleep disorder. Nearly one-third suffer from short-term bouts of insomnia, the most common sleep disorder. Chronic insomnia affects approximately 1 in 10 people. More than 50% of the time, insomnia is tied to stress, anxiety, or depression. Chapter 7. The Bright Mind's Diet to End Mental Illness This chapter explains which foods to eat for a better brain and which ones to limit or avoid altogether. Bright Mind's Rule number 1. Only love foods that love you back. The real weapons of mass destruction are foods that are highly processed, pesticide sprayed, high glycemic, spikes blood sugar, low fiber. These low-quality foods are destroying the brain health slash mental health of America. 
skip or limit anything you love that increases your risk of brain health slash mental health issues. Bright Minds Rule Number 2. Go for the highest quality calories you can find. Calories matter. If you tend to eat when you're feeling depressed, stressed, or anxious and you struggle with your weight, know the amount of calories you consume in a day. But also know that the quality of the calories matters more. Some professionals will tell you calories don't count. Do not believe them. Supersize your meals and you'll be supersized too. Bright Minds Rule Number 3. Hydrate, but do not drink your calories. Drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day to stay properly hydrated. Your brain is composed of 80% water, and being even mildly dehydrated can negatively impact your moods, making you feel more anxious, tense, depressed, or angry. In addition, skip or limit calorie-laden drinks, cocktails, energy drinks, sodas, and diet drinks, all of which increase your risk of brain health slash mental health issues. Bright Minds Rule Number 4. Eat high-quality protein at every meal to balance blood sugar and keep cravings away. Protein helps you feel fuller longer and burn more calories than you do after eating high-carb, sugar-filled foods. Bright Minds Rule Number 5. Eat and cook with high-quality fat. Good fats are essential to your brain health slash mental health. Skip or limit unhealthy fats, such as canola oil, corn oil, vegetable oil, processed meats, safflower oil, soy oil. Bright Minds Rule Number 6. Use herbs and spices like medicine. Herbs and spices are as powerful as medicines. Hippocrates listed more than 500 medicinal uses for herbs and spices, including ways to prevent illness and increase longevity. Unlike pharmaceutical drugs, which often come with an alarming range of side effects, herbs and spices have minimal consequences. Skip or limit artificial colors and flavors geared to hijack your brain. Bright Minds Rule Number 7. Use intermittent fasting to supercharge your brain. Focus on brain-healthy eating throughout the day, but fast for at least 12 hours between dinner and breakfast. Intermittent fasting, or time-restricted feeding, has been shown to significantly improve memory, mood, fat loss, weight, blood pressure, and inflammatory markers. Did you know, in 2015, a group of 18 scientists concluded that the emerging and compelling evidence for nutrition as a crucial factor in the high prevalence and incident of mental disorders suggests that diet is as important to psychiatry as it is to cardiology, endocrinology, and gastroenterology. Conclusion If you are like many Americans, work creates stress and sours your mood. You grind your teeth in traffic to get to the office when you have an inbox full of urgent emails waiting for you. But before you get to your cubicle, you pass by the break room where you find donuts, leftover cake from yesterday's birthday celebration, coffee with artificial creamer and sugar, and a bowl of jelly beans. Helping yourself to them just sets your brain up for more stress, a lack of focus, and mood swings, as well as increasing your bright mind's risk factors. It's not a recipe for success. It doesn't have to be this way. The Bright Minds program will give you the tools needed to help boost your brain health and create a more positive, productive environment where you and everyone around you is happier, less stressed, and primed for success. Try this, an elimination diet to rid your body of toxins. Cut out the six potential food allergens, sugar, artificial sweeteners, gluten, soy, corn, and milk for one month. After a month, slowly reintroduce food items one at a time every three to four days. Eat the reintroduced food at least two to three times a day for three days to see if you notice a reaction. Look for symptoms, which can occur within a few minutes or up to 72 hours later. Reactions to foods to which you have allergies can include brain fog, difficulty remembering, mood issues, nasal congestion, chest congestion, and headaches. If you have a reaction, note the food and eliminate it for 90 days, and maybe forever. This will give your immune system a chance to cool off and your gut a chance to heal.